Adobe is churning out a buttload of new software. Sony announces a new camera and Facebook adds higher resolutions. All right here on the Photo Video Show, Live View Edition. Welcome to Live View, keeping you focused on all things photo video. I'm your host, Mark Puckett. Adobe has released a brand new public beta of Photoshop CS6. Getting into some of the details, the new software introduces a complete redesign of Photoshop's user interface, along with some auto and background save options. Some of the other big features include content aware patch and move tools. Additional photographic blurs, increased video editing capabilities, and Adobe Camera Raw 7. This will be the first major release they've had since April 2010, and believe me, it's fully stacked and packed with a bunch of new stuff and huge performance enhancements. The big ones, of course, are the Content Aware Patch, which allows way better control by letting you select and duplicate an area of the image to fill in or patch another. The Content Aware Move Tool lets you select and magically move an object to a new place inside the image. Also, the new Adobe Mercury Graphics Engine will enable near instant results from your favorite editing tools like Liquify, Puppet Warp, Transform, and Lighting Effects. Combine that with the brand spanking new interface and you've got yourself a killer new image editing suite. And according to the press release, the CS6 Beta offers all the features of Adobe Photoshop CS6 and CS6 Extended. All the other new goodies will be included in the shipping version of Photoshop CS6 Extended when it finally drops. CS6 Beta is currently available as a free download in English and uh, Japanese. Uh, konnichiwa! But beware Windows XP users, the 3D and some of the GPU enabled features are not supported. So maybe you ought to think about upgrading that OS. What has it been, like 11, 12 years or something that that thing was released? Give it up. And for those living on planet anti-Adobe, Lightroom 4 and Photoshop Touch were also released within the last week or so. Photographers rejoice! The official price of Lightroom 4 has been reduced to 149 bucks. That's a mere $79 for an upgrade, and if you're planning on getting a box version, you'll also be happy to know you'll get free shipping until March 31st, 2012. Speaking of which, Leica has announced it will bundle Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4 with many of its cameras. Most likely because it offers extensive support for Leica cameras and lenses. It will be included in the future purchases of the S2, the S2P, the M9, the M9P, the X1, and the Deluxe 5 cameras. So, for all you tablet users, the new Photoshop Touch app was released in the Apple App Store, and it lets you quickly combine images, apply professional effects, share with friends and family through social networking sites like Facebook and more, and all from the convenience of your iPad or Android tablet. You can now work with images on your tablet, then bring them over onto your PC or Mac in Photoshop. You can sync your projects with Adobe Creative Cloud and open layered filters from Adobe Photoshop Touch in the desktop version of Photoshop. It's pretty sweet. Sony has announced the SLT A57. It's a replacement for the original A55 fixed mirror electronic viewfinder DSLR. The A57 still comes with a 16 megapixel sensor and LCD viewfinder, but it incorporates them into essentially the same body as the more expensive A65. Using the latest Bion's processor means that the A57 offers a wider than ever selection of photographic features and image processing modes. There's also an optional LED video lighting panel called the HVL LE1. The advanced feature set includes 12 frames per second shooting, full HD 60 frames per second, video capture, and new auto portrait framing and a whole lot more. According to the press release, the A57 will have a price tag of $799 that will be bundled with an 18-55mm to 55 millimeter 3.5-5.6 to 5.6 lens. Phase 1 has knocked around 25% off the price of its Capture 6 raw processing software. It has also increased the free trial period to 60 days. That's awesome! That includes both Capture 1 Express and the more fully featured Capture 1 Pro. Phase 1 also updated its website to show Capture One Pro costing $299 and now Capture One Express was reduced to 99 dineros. That still doesn't beat out the full price of Adobe Aperture 3, which is only 79 bucks. 
Speaking of Apple, Apple has added support for eight additional cameras, including Nikon's D4, the D800, Canon's G1X, Sony's NEX7, and the Samsung NX200. That brings the total number of cameras covered to 260. This update does require that you have Mac OS 10.68 or Lion 10.71 or later. Last but not least, Facebook has added high resolution photos and full screen photo viewing. From today, the photo viewer will show the highest resolution image available rather than offering a download link for higher res images. They've also added an option to expand the photo to full screen. The changes also come with adding a simplified version to the sRGB uh, color profile to each image, increasing its chances of displaying color correctly. Which, way to go Zucker. You know, if we are going to be uploading some uh, photographs to your website, you might want to get our colors right. Just saying. We're also hearing great things about the new iPad camera and want to see your shots and videos. What do you guys think? Leave us your comments below and tell us how dorky you looked holding your iPad to get that footage. That's going to do it for me this week, but be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, keeping your world in live view.